Hey friends, it's Jessie. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another two looks and mini review video. Today we're going to be going over the new Mockingbird Beauty Mockingbird palette. Look how beautiful this palette is. The blues, the grays. We're going to have so much fun diving into today's look. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Alright friends, it is time for our first look using the Mockingbird Beauty Mockingbird palette. Guys, I am so excited to try this. Y'all know I love indie makeup and new indie brands. It's just, it's a whole vibe. Look how cute this outer packaging is. You have that Mockingbird silhouette and it's kind of that matte and glossy contrast. Actually love the packaging. And inside we have eight beautiful shades. I have swatched a few of them already, but I have not played with them on the eyes. So we are gonna go ahead and start with our first look. Before we jump too far into the first look, I just wanted to say a big thank you to Mockingbird Beauty for sending me this palette to try out. I cannot wait, I appreciate it so much. For today's look, I'm thinking I wanna play with kind of those grays, these two grays, maybe this bronze. I feel like that would be pretty because I do wanna play with the blues tomorrow and I don't want to do too repetitive of a look. So to start out, I'm just gonna go into Ruffled, which is this light gray, and I'm taking that on an IT Cosmetics fluffy brush and I'm going to just go ahead and pop that in my crease. I primed my eyes today using the P. Louise base in Rumor 1. And then I just set that with a white cream eyeshadow. That's usually my go-to for priming my eyes. So I just wanted to do my standard routine to really try out the formula. This shade makes a great contour shade. It's not in your face, but it has enough pigment that it kind of contours the eyes. And I quite like that. Next, I'm gonna go into that darker gray matte. This is called Artful. I'm not sure what brush this is, but it's from the Morphe Pro series. So I'm just taking a little bit of that and I'm also putting this one in my crease and I'm going to blend that where I blended Ruffled just to start building up that depth. Look how those two shades just blended into each other. It looks really good. Very pleased. And we have minimal to no fallout in this. I had a teeny tiny bit of fallout with Ruffled, that first gray, but this second gray, Artful, I have had zero fallout. I am a huge fan of no fallout. After I put the darker gray, I'm gonna go ahead and just take this fluffy brush again and just kind of go over that, make sure that the light and the darker gray blend together seamlessly. Y'all, I've been up in the mountains literally so much this summer and my skin is so burnt and I feel like my makeup is having trouble sticking to my face. So hopefully you guys can't notice how peely my face is right now. My nose, I literally peeled so much off my nose today. It, oh my gosh. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go into the blue and purple like lilac shimmer. I decided I'm going to hold off on the bronze until tomorrow. I think I know how to work it into my all blue look. But for now, we're going to start with the blue shimmer shade Bird's Eye View. Normally, I spray my shimmers with a setting spray before I put them on my eye. But just for the sake of trying it, I'm going to go ahead and just take that on an Odin's Eye Brush. And I'm going to pop it on my eye with no setting spray. I will most likely go over it with setting spray. But just so we can see the difference. Actually, that is beautiful. Look at that. It's just a nice pastel blue shimmer. Okay. I just took a little bit more of bird's eye view and spritzed it with a little bit of setting spray and okay that's pretty i really like this shade it's very soft i feel like it's not a very in your face shade very wearable but it still has that blue hue to it i really like it i'm gonna use that same brush and we are gonna use that for the lilac shimmer. The lilac shade is called Innocence and I am very excited about this. I feel like this is gonna be that really light pastel moment I'm looking for. This I'm just popping on the inner part of my lid and I'm bringing that up to meet the blue. They blend together very, very nicely. I am gonna take just a touch of that blue and just kind of go back and forth to meld that. Look how flawlessly those two blended together. These shimmers have a very soft texture to them, kind of like the shimmers in the ABH Modern Renaissance, where they're just that soft, easy to meld. I really like how these shimmers are blending together. I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit of that dark gray just to blend out the edges a little bit. I am going to leave the inner part pretty distinct so it has some contrast to it. 
but I am going to blend out at least the edges of the blue shade. I'm gonna go ahead and take that black shade Defensive on a Morphe. This is a 506 brush. This is just a little detailed smudger and I'm going to just add some depth to that very outer corner. Oh, look at that. That is black. So I'm just trying to take a very, very light hand and really just concentrate it in that outer corner. I am going to do a wing and then smudge out the wing, but just for the eyeshadow, I'm going to really concentrate that just in the outer corner to add the most depth over there. Next, I'm gonna take my KVD Tattoo Liner. I'm just gonna pop a wing on there. Y'all know I love a wing and I wear wings pretty much every single day. For my lower lash line, I'm gonna start with the dark gray Artful and I'm gonna start smudging that all across my lower lashes. Then I'm gonna go ahead and smudge all of that dark gray out with Ruffled, which is that lighter kind of wolf gray. What is the Crayola Crayon? It's like wolf gray or something. It's like timber wolf gray, timber wolf gray. It's that very light gray. It's kind of what it's giving. So I'm just gonna go ahead and smudge that lighter gray on the edges of the darker gray just to make sure it's a nice soft transition. I'm gonna use Innocence, that lilac shimmer, just to brighten up my inner corner. And there's only one other thing I wanna do with this look before I call it good. I think this eye look would look really good with a black liner in my waterline. So this is the Urban Decay Robin Eisenberg Snow or Stars liner. I love the Urban Decay pencil liners. They are some of my favorites for especially the waterline. I feel like they're super gentle. This is the eye look so far. I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the rest of the look off camera and then I'll meet you guys back here for my final thoughts on this first look. This is the first look complete. I love how it turned out. I feel like this eye look is kind of like something I would wear for a date night. And it's just a whole vibe. We have the ponytail, we have the kind of 90s-esque makeup, the pale lip, the Eras Tour sweatshirt. We're just living today. I really like how this look turned out. It is definitely a win for me. As always, I will go ahead and link all the products that I used on my face today down in the description box below. But with that, let's go ahead and jump into the second look. Let's go ahead and dive into our second look using the Mockingbird Beauty Mockingbird palette. Today I want to play with those blues since yesterday's look was a little more neutral. I want to go a little bit more bold today. To prep my eyes, I'm just going to take a dot of the P. Louise base. This is rumor one. I'm just going to pop that on my eyelids really quick. Sorry about the weird lighting situation. We are having some rain today and I have not quite figured out not natural lighting. So I just have a couple little sun lamps around me. Hopefully I don't look too scary. To start off, I'm going to take a Morphe E28 and we're going to go into Imitation, which is this light sky blue here. And I'm going to pop that all over my crease. We're just going to do a very smoky blue look. Maybe I'll do a halo eye today. Next, I'm going to go into Songbird, which is that kind of middle tone blue. It's not quite a deep blue. It's more of a nice true blue. I'm gonna start popping that one up in my crease. I have a touch of sparkle on there because I think I used this brush on my Nomad Paradise palette and didn't wipe it off. So we're just gonna ignore that little, little sparkle. I'll cover it up with a shimmer in a sec. Next, I'm gonna take that Odin's Eye shimmer brush that we used in yesterday's look and I'm gonna go ahead and hop into Bird's Eye View, which is this nice shimmer pastel blue. I love this shade. The two shimmers, Bird's Eye View and Innocence the Lilac, are definitely my two favorites in this palette. I am just popping that all over the lid. We're just gonna go for a nice shimmery blue moment. It's just such a pretty pastel blue shimmer. I love the combo of all these blue shades together. I do have a tiny bit of fallout on the corner of my eye just from those pastel shades, but I feel like that's pretty normal for pastels, especially lighter shades. So I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe that up with my foundation brush. The only shade I haven't tried in this palette yet is Mimic, which is this bronzy shade right here. And honestly, looking at the palette, I feel like the color story looks very nice, but I don't quite know how to work the bronze in. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take that on a smudger brush and we're just gonna do a bronze lower lash today, just so I can still give that bronze its moment. And for my inner corner, I'm gonna go into Innocence, which is that lilac shimmer. It is my favorite shade in this palette. So I'm just gonna take that on a little pencil brush and we're just gonna pop that right in the inner corner. 
And instead of a big dramatic winged liner, I think I'm actually going to attempt more of a subtle wing. So I'm going to go ahead and go into my Tarte Sex Kitten eye pencil. This is just like an eye coal. And I saw this on the Natasha Denona Instagram. So you essentially do the line and then you take the brush to wing it out. I've never tried it. We're going to try it today. Hopefully it goes good. Otherwise, I'm covering it up with a wing. I'm gonna go ahead and attempt to replicate the same thing on this eye. So I'm gonna do that little triangle wing shape and then we'll smudge out the corner. I think I might have done that too big. So when I smudge it out, it kind of gets a little bit long. So I'm just gonna take my finger and wipe <laughs> some of that corner off. I know that's not super professional, but it works. Let's just go with that, that works. In my lower waterline, I think I wanna do a blue. So this is from the Urban Decay Robin Eisenberg in the shade Lunar Landing. It is just this really pretty sky blue and I haven't used this in a second. So I'm just gonna pop that in my waterline quick. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this look off camera and then I will see you guys back in just a second for my final thoughts. All right, guys, here is the second and final look in today's video. What do we think? I'm a huge fan of the blues. Personally, I think the blues are phenomenal. Out of all the shades in the palette, I would say the standouts for me were the two blue mattes. I felt like the quality of these were super, super nice, and they blended together so flawlessly. And then I would also say the blue and lilac shimmers over here. They are on the lighter side. They are a little bit more of that pastel vibe, but I feel like they tie in so good, and I feel like you can even layer them. If you wanted to deepen up the shades, you could always lay down one of the blues first and then the shimmers to give it more of that depth and pigment. But overall, I think all the shades performed really nicely. I was pleasantly surprised by how well all these shades blended together and how well they lasted on my eyes throughout the day. I did do a look yesterday and my look stayed on completely perfect, did not crease at all throughout the day and when I went to take my makeup off it looked just as good as when I had first done it so I'm very pleased with that and honestly the entire aesthetic of this palette is just so cute. I'm very excited to continue playing with this palette throughout especially the fall and even combining it with some of my other palettes to see what kind of fun looks I can create. This palette is the first launch from Mockingbird Beauty. I will link their website and their Instagram in the description box below. I think this is just a really cute, fun palette. I love the cool tones in here. I love the grays. I love the blues. I feel like this would be a great palette if you're starting to learn how to use color or you're trying to dabble a little bit more in color. It does really have a very wearable approach to it, especially with the pastel shades of the shimmers and these two blues. You can really build up the pigment or keep it very subtle. And you can even use it as a pop of blue in a more neutral gray toned look so I feel like there is quite a bit of versatility with this palette it has been such a pleasure playing with this palette and I cannot wait to see what more comes from Mockingbird Beauty in the future and that is today's video my friends thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you all in the next one bye friends